Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are absolutely appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light and in the highest vibrational energy. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you and your loved ones are being dismantled. As we speak, they are dismantled. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. Okay. We have the page of pentacles out here. You may be receiving an offer from someone or an institution. Um, let's see what's going on here. Hmm. Okay. So you may be receiving an offer as the queen of wands, someone may be coming towards you to give you an offer. Uh, some offer about maybe a partnership or relationship. But this is an offer that's less than what you are supposed to be receiving. So I would throw it with caution. Someone has been paid to give you something so that you do not pay attention to the actual offer that you are meant to receive. This is a masculine energy that is coming towards you with an offer that is less than what the most high has destined for you so this is that you are due uh, is a pentacles or a ten of pentacles offer but someone has been hired to give you a page of pentacles offer so that you can partner up with them and settle for less than what you deserve thinking that this is going to let you or make you think that you can finally move forward and you're going to accept it and be content with it absolutely not you deserve more you have more that is due to you do not settle for this offer the ace of pentacles offer is cute but it's not the ten of pentacles it is not the ace of pentacles the biggest offer the biggest biggest offers are the ten of pentacles and the ace of pentacles the ten of pentacles comes right before the ace of pentacles you are due i'm telling you they want you to see this as justice it's not your justice you do have justice coming in but it's going to be something bigger yeah, I'm telling you, this is stealing. They're trying to steal from you. The Ten of Pentacles comes before the Ace of Pentacles, okay? The Ace of Pentacles is the biggest offer. This means that it's an offer, a blessing from the Most High. The Ten of, Ten of Pentacles technically has to do with institution, business, enterprise, partnership, a successful partnership between two people. Or you building some type of empire where you are so established and successful in that empire that you have people working for you. It can also be you sometimes receiving an inheritance where you have people working for you and things of that nature. Someone is trying to come in and shorthand you, give you a page of pentacles so that you can forget about your ace of pentacles. You in the most high have a plan have an agreement you manifested something you earned something from the most high it is due to you and people don't want you to have it so they have someone coming in to give you something less than what you i'm telling you give you less than what you deserve it's not going to be happening they want to steal your victory they want to block your forward movement yeah they're going to shorthand you this offer they're giving you is not the right offer do not settle for this do not accept this if someone gives you something that's less than what you know the Most High has promised you, tell them no thank you. I appreciate the offer, but it's not what I'm due, okay? You are due the Ace of Pentacles. This is judgment by your ancestors. I saw a card here in the reverse. I'm trying to find it so I can fix it. This is a group collaboration to shorthand you so that you don't receive the actual Ten of Pentacles that you are supposed to be receiving. I'm calling BS. You're calling BS Collective. You are going to accept and not settle for anything less than what you deserve. This is them pocket changing you. The Page of Pentacles is literally the difference between the Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. Think about someone giving you a dollar. 
but you're due two hundred dollars. This is them coming in and giving you a dollar. Say, hey, I know you have your eyes on that cotton candy. Here's a dollar. Meanwhile, you have two hundred dollars to buy the cotton candy, turkey, the uh, drumsticks, uh, other desserts, anything you want. They're short-handing you, Queen of Wands. Stand your ground. There's someone in here that wants to come towards you. He was hired to give you this offer. Or she was hired to give you this offer. It's a trick. They want to see if you're going to accept it. If you accept it, then you miss out on your ten of pentacles. It's a pentacles blessings. It's not going to work. Someone wants to partner up with you, hoping that you'll move forward with them and see this as good karma, but they're stealing from you. You better not. You better not. This is a whole plan. Someone does not have much to offer you because what they have to offer you, there's someone else attached to it. Let's say that this is a masculine that has a business. This business does not just belong to him. It belongs to him and a feminine energy, possibly someone he's married to, uh, just a business partner, something of that nature. They could be in a relationship and he wants to come in and short hand you. For some of you, this is a woman that works at a company. Maybe you have some type of ownership in this company. And she's coming in to give you less than what you deserve. Because the people behind her have told her, hey, just give her this. She won't know the difference. Just give him this. He won't know the difference. But the Most High has already revealed to you what's yours. You already know what's yours. You're not settling for less. You're not accepting less. These people don't know they are looking for legal issues. This is where they're headed. Problems. Problems. We have the justice card out here and the chariot. It's going to be revealed if someone does not do the right thing. It's going to end up turning into something legal. These people have been taking actions behind the scenes to block someone from receiving their offer. There's a message coming in. There's a message coming in. You can expect to receive a message about your page of pentacles offer they're coming in with. This is coming from a feminine energy, possibly. Do not let the enemy trick you. Do not let the enemy trick you. I'm telling you, do not let the enemy trick you. This is a lesser offer than what you deserve. They don't want you to get what you deserve. These are thieves. What this is, is stealing. They're causing blockages. Do not settle for less than what you deserve. You're going to be receiving some type of message that's going to enable you to move forward. Okay? These people are trying to steal from you, block you, cause you issues so that you don't step into your abundance. Don't get a hold of your abundance. They're paying someone to come towards you, possibly a queen of wands to come towards you to... Play with your mental. I'm telling you, play with your mental. We don't have time for this. They're paying people around, paying people behind the scenes to cause you problems. Someone's going to send you a message. There's someone burdening. There's a whole family. There's a whole couple that's burdening because the truth is going to be exposed about what is yours. They pay this woman, they pay this man in the past to block your forward movement, to block you from receiving what's yours. This is a couple that has been up to this and they got other people to partner up with them. It's not going in their favor. It's a over. It's over. The game is over. These people have been playing a whole lot of scams behind the scenes. And someone is burdened because someone has another person has decided to do the right thing. There's a man that has been paying people behind the scenes to stop them from doing the right thing, to support him. Instead of them doing the right thing, they were supposed to support someone, help mold you into something, either a leader or something of that nature. But this selfish couple stepped in and started bribing people behind the scenes and said, hey, if you keep them waiting, they're going to give up on this on this blessing and we can keep the blessing for ourselves and we'll be abundant. We get to do whatever we want. 
And the Most High was sitting back like, I know you're effing lying. You got to do time for this one. You got to do time for this one. Your ancestors said, you got us effed up. You got us effed up in more ways than you should ever think that you can have us effed up. We are coming for what's ours. It's over for a couple. It's over for a family. They're not literally a family. This is a group that got together and has been doing way too much behind the scenes. Because they refuse to let something go that does not belong to them. They've been causing stagnation. They say, hey, if we keep blocking it, if we keep paying people to collaborate with us, to interfere with their forward movement, they're going to forget all about this blessing. Who in their right mind will forget about an Ace of Pentacles offer, a Ten of Pentacles offer? Who in their right mind will forget about that? Make it make sense. Some of you are not spiritual. You don't have a connection with Source. So you don't understand how certain things work. All you know is greed. So that's why you've thought in your head that logically someone is going to decide to just give up on their blessings. And you know this person knew about their blessings. There are people in this group that know that you all were aware of your blessings. You're like, oh, shoot, she knew, she always knew, he knew, he always knew. You're damn right they knew. And you all were playing in their face. Playing in their face the whole time. Still trying to cause conflict and stuff. It's over. You are, yeah, you are losing it. Listen, li listen, Linda, Linda, listen. Whether you're a man or a woman, Linda, Linda, the game is over. You're losing everything. Balance is being burned in this situation. This Whoever this blessing belongs to, they're going to receive it and you're done. Someone is burdened because they know it's over. They have to step down. They stole something, tried to steal something, and they have to let go of it because balance is being burned in this situation. You have to return what you stole, what you tried to keep. You've compromised a lot of people's stability, their livelihoods. But we can't even blame you for it, the couple, the masculine, who it is. We can't even blame you because these, pe these people made the decision to partner up with you when you approached them. And now, this is you all. This is you. Yep. Yeah. That is you all. Whoever is due this blessing, this Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, they're going to be receiving it. Justice is going in their favor. They will be receiving what's theirs. Someone is going to be taking action to bring balance. They're finding the strength to take action. Someone is afraid that when they come towards you to reveal to you what belongs to you, they're either going to end up losing their stability, their livelihood, but I don't think that's what's, what's going to happen. I think you're going to be disappointed in a lot of people. You're going to be disappointed because these are people you, you would expect to have high moral character to do the right thing. But for some reason, they decided to partner up with an idiot, a greedy person, and they have compromised all of themselves. Justice is being brought into this situation. Balance is being brought into this situation. Do not come in shorthanding anyone. There are ten of pentacles, give it to them. There are eight of pentacles, give it to them. This is ridiculous. Someone literally pay a woman to partner up with them so that they could block someone's forward movement. Block someone from receiving their uh, inheritance. It's ridiculous. This is what people have been doing behind the scenes with a lot of star seeds. They said, oh, we don't want that star seed in this company, in this family, in this city, in this town, in this country. So we're going to do what we want to so we can get them out of here, block them from coming back. 
This is absolutely having to do with a Ten of Pentacles, a business empire. It's a business empire. Something was gifted to someone, either a position or a significant share of a business was left to someone. And you all were entrusted to help mold this person into a leader. But what you did was betray the person that trusted you all to do the right thing. And you decided to go after your own intentions, own desires. Oh, if we block him, if we block her, we can keep this company to ourselves. We can write all the checks we want. Our bonuses can be as big as we want them to be. And we can keep shorthanding the lower level employees. Keep telling them that we don't have the money to pay them more. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You have people living in poverty while you are living the, the good life. You should be ashamed of yourselves. And you all are walking around with masks pretending to care about these employees. You don't. You cannot care about people. If you are willing to leave them out in the cold, this is an institution that was misled by a few mischievous characters. And they're about to be left put out of this institution, especially this couple. There's a man and his wife that's been behind this whole thing. He thought he was invincible. He said, oh, I've been in management for 10 years. I know more than she does. I know more than he does. I qualify for this position. I have the interest of the people at heart. Fraud. This person is a fraud. They're worried, burdened, having anxiety because they know what's coming for them when someone takes action to bring balance into this situation. Someone is a fraud. They don't give two Fs about anyone in that company. And it doesn't matter how long they've known you. They don't give two Fs about you. They partner up with you. They pay you to work with them. They don't give two Fs about any of you. All they care about is themselves. This is a selfish, greedy person. But some of you are too. Not all of you. Some of you are. This was a whole collaboration. I don't know if you are meeting again to come up with another devious plan. Stop wasting your time. It's not going to work. The, the game is over. Someone was interested to give a letter to someone and she's been holding on to it for God knows how long because they told her if we just drag it out and keep her waiting, keep him waiting, He's going to let it go. It sounds delusional anyways that the most high would do this for someone so irrelevant. This person is delusional. You're about to see how delusional someone is. Someone know it's over. They know it's over so they've been trying to bring you problems to keep you in anxiety. But you're not anxious because you already know the truth. You know what's going on. And you will know what's going to happen to a lot of these people. This is crazy. I'm telling you. Someone is going to have to move on. They cannot hold on to what belongs to another person anymore. This thief has to move on. He's being told, he's about to be told, you got to go. We got to give this to who it belongs to. We cannot let you keep this. This person is going to keep waiting until they receive what's theirs. They're not giving up. They're not letting go. This person may even be coming to come pick up what's theirs. But someone, you the feminine energy that has this letter... You know what to do. You know where you all know where these people stay, these star seeds stay. So you're gonna have to do what you got to do. Either go in person and deliver that letter. That's probably the only option because these star seeds, their males are being interfered with. This couple, the masculine and his wife, they probably have people in the postal service telling them, hey. I need you to redirect their mail to this address. 
they gave them a hefty sum of money. Maybe they're related to them and they agreed to do it. And they've been redirecting someone's mail to a different address so that they can have the opportunity to scan through it and see if anything came from an institution that's alerting them of their inheritance. People have, people are doing too much behind the scenes. Too much, too much, like Medea says, it's too much. It's just too much. You're gonna have to move on here to wherever you need to go. You're gonna have to move on. But just know that someone is going to be taking action to bring balance into this situation and bring to this person awareness that they are receiving a promotion in life. They're not settling for a lesser offer than they deserve. They're not settling for another institution. For some of you, this is this kind of situation where something was left to you and people hid it from you and started mistreating you to push you out. You end up at another institution. They reach out to their institution, bribe the owners and employees of that institution to keep you bound, binded to that institution. So they tell them, be nice to them. You know, don't argue with them. If they do something that upsets you, just kind of play it up and let it go. Don't give them any type of emotional reaction. Don't let them know you're upset about it. They've paid these people hefty amounts behind the scenes. So someone who, if someone owns this company, this new company you are at, they bribe them to get, offer you something so that they can keep you content to prevent you from going to get what's yours or from accepting what's yours. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's a waste of time. This was supposed to be a secret, but I guess it's not anymore. If you had an agreement with the Most High, and the most high, listen, this Ten of Pentacles will not leave the bottom of the deck. It will not leave. It's like I'm still here. You're right on the money with this. You hit the target. It's a Ten of Pentacles. It was supposed to be a secret. It's not a secret. They know you know. You know they know. Everybody knows. Let's stop pretending. Okay? Lord have mercy. It's the, it's the level of commitment for me from these people to hide what belongs to someone else. It's a, oh, if we can get everyone to turn against them, get everyone to lie and say that they are not equipped for this job. They are not going to know what they're doing. They, they are not qualified for this position. Uh-huh. Then it won't be given to them. But whoever left this abundance for you didn't care about any of that. They saw your heart. They saw your character. And that's what mattered to them. There's a reason why the people around you didn't receive this offer. It's because their hearts are not pure. They're devious. They're wicked. They're greedy. And the person that, made, that, left, that left you all these abundances knew that. They're like, I need things to change. Things have been dark for too long. We've done too many wrongs. It's time to fix it. So the sun is setting on darkness and the sun is rising on another one, on the kingdom of light. One kingdom is coming to an end as another is rising. This is the cycle of life. The cycle of life. Now you all know I'm not a singer or a rapper, but that's never stopped me from singing on this channel. We are, what we are going to do around here is have us some goofy fun, goofy humor with some tarot. I'm telling you, if everything is out in the open, whoever they've been bribing at your new company, they know you know. They know, oh shoot, she knows. What do we do now? Oh, 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 go make her this offer. Make her this offer so she can stay with you. Say, uh, no. Make him this offer so he can stay with you. No, I don't want that offer. I want what's mine. Star seeds, this is what you need to be saying. I want what's mine. If we want to keep pretending like we don't know, I guess we can take care of it the legal way. 
I want what's mine. And you know what? If you, if any of you end up going to legal way, you know what these people are going to do? Act like they don't know what you're talking about. But lawyers don't care about how you act. They want facts. They want proof. And they're going to get it no matter what. That's what lawyers are for. I have a situation going on in my life and I've been holding on to it for a while. I finally spoke to my lawyer about it. He said, that's what lawyers are for. Why didn't you say something? That's sometimes that's all you have to do. It just say something. He said, literally, that's what lawyers are for. To look into things like that. To find what they need to find. All you need to do is talk to the lawyer. Honey, when he told me that, I said, oh, gosh, really? Oh, okay. But because because some of us, you know, we regular civilians, we don't know nothing much about the law compared to lawyers. So we don't know what we should talk to our lawyers about. We don't know if he looks stupid telling them certain things. He sat there, he listened to me and said, that's what lawyers are for, girl. I'm like, oh, okay. Some of these people, they don't realize they've, they've turned something simple into something complicated and legal if they don't do what they're supposed to do. They don't fix this. This has gone on too far for a lot of you. For some of you, this has been going on for months. This has been going on for years, for weeks, where your promotion, your elevation in life has been being kept from you. And this is because of greed. This is because a few... Uh, bad nuts in a company decided to do things the wrong way. They don't want things to change. They are used to the old ways because the old ways benefit them. They're greedy. Now they're living in fear and anxiety. They say, oh, what's going to happen to me? Am I going to lose my job? Am I, am I going to lose my house? Who knows? Why did you do what you did? What was the point of it? Why were you led by greed? Why did some of you let someone so idiotic lead you down the wrong path? It's not that you're you're it's not like you people are are, are are worthless or anything. Everyone has value to them. But you have to see the value within yourself so that you can know what your boundaries so you can have boundaries and stick to those boundaries. But when you don't have value within yourself, People like these can come to you and give you money, make false offers and promises to you and get you to bend because you don't have value within yourself for yourself and about yourself. No one should ever be for sale. Okay? Oh my goodness. This was all for greed. Excuse me. I've dropped a couple of my cars. Yeah. This was all for greed. All for greed. And while all of this is going on, instead of them wanting to do the right thing, they have possibly someone behind the scenes telling them, hey, just go give her this so we can shut her up. You're not going to shut someone up. You're making things worse for yourself and your colleagues, your partners in crimes, your minions, because you're greedy. The karmics are fighting. You all wouldn't be fighting if you would have done the right thing. Now you're paying someone to come cause more illusions. For what? For what? It said, hey... Ask her how much she wants to be paid. Ask him how much he wants to be paid. And we will pay you in the back end and you can pay her that amount. Is that what? Are you listening to yourself? You're taking money from one institution to pay another institution to keep someone there? Really? get desperate they come up with all types of solutions that don't make no sense all types of solutions and with some of these people unfortunately they are the way they are because of fear that's all it is it's fear they've been doing things a certain way for decades whether it works it doesn't work they're comfortable with it 
They don't like too much change, but change is necessary for growth. So they've been staying stagnant for years. They never thought they would see the day where, surprise, change is here. Nothing stays the same in life. Everything is always revolving, moving forward, moving. Even the planet we live on is always moving, rotating. Just look up in the sky, even the clouds are moving. Everything is moving, is vibrating. It moves in some way, shape, or form. You may not see it with your naked eyes, but if you took a machine and looked in there, a microscope, I bet you you'll see movement in there. Everything is always moving. So nothing can stay stagnant. Nothing will stay the same. What is that line from the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe or Narnia? Nothing happens the same twice or nothing is the same twice. Something like that. Those are words of wisdom. You should never expect anything to happen the same twice. That's an illusion. You should never expect anything to stay the same. That is an illusion. Just because you want to stay stuck in life, be the same forever, does not mean the rest of the world does not want to evolve. What kind of friend are you to compromise people to this extent? So what if, let's say, for example, the person you're trying to block turns out to be your boss and they know each and every one of you and every action you took against them and they still receive their position. What do you do in that situation? Now you have to look your boss in the eye every day, knowing very well that they know what you did and what you tried to do to them. What do you do in that situation? Do you even stay at the company? What are you two going to do? Pretend that it didn't happen for however many years you're going to be there? You got to think about the future when you take actions. You got to think about the future. It does not matter how hard you try to hide something. Nothing in the dark stays in the dark forever. It will always come to the light. Always. That's called balance. Being brought into situations. Why? Because the universe we live in is big on balance and principle. It don't matter how long you were at a company. It don't matter how long you knew someone. If someone decides to give something to another person, then it goes to that person. You don't have the right to dismiss someone's will. What if someone, if that person was passing away and that was their will? You have to respect those wishes within their will. There was a reason why they made that will before they passed away. They made that will when they had sound judgment. They knew what they were putting in that will. Who are you to go against it? Who are you? Can you imagine leaving... Your, let's say even you are, let's put you in the situations. Let's say you are, one of you were passing away and you had a, 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 like a good amount of money in your saving, savings account and you decided to leave it to, let's say your daughter or your son. But then someone decides, oh, his daughter cannot have it. I want it for me. Or even they decided to give it to you decided to give it to someone else that you thought was worthy of that. But then someone comes in and say, "Oh no, I don't want them to have it. I should have it. I'm more worthy of the money in the savings account than they are." Wouldn't you kind of feel funny about that? Say, "Who the heck do you think you are disrespecting my will?" But you're doing this to someone else because of greed. There is a businessman, either he is passing away or he was passing, he has passed away, left a will, left someone in the will, and people have been choosing to disregard that will. 
Someone made their final decisions in life on paper and it has been disregarded. And they were feeding this man lies in his last days. Can you imagine the people that you've been surrounded by for decades in your last days, instead of them sending you into the spirit, well, spirit realm with farewells, good intentions, positive energies, and things that they're busy lying to you? Is that, oh, this person was the worst person ever. If you were an employee in his company or her company, oh, this person was the worst employee we ever had. But that person knew the truth. They knew the truth. They knew they weren't. They knew that employee wasn't the worst employee ever. But while they're passing away, you're lying to them. Because that's how cold you are. Cold. Cold hearted. I keep I keep hearing someone, hey. If, the, if we keep waiting, let's just keep waiting. Let's hold up. They'll give up. Let's let let's have him or her make an offer to this person. How much do they want to get paid? It's not going to work. You're wasting your time. Don't do it. Yeah, they want you to keep waiting and waiting. and wa It doesn't matter. You're not going to keep what's not yours. You're not going to keep it. Do not send anyone in to mislead anyone. The truth is already known. You all know it. Want to come in and pretend like they don't know what's going on. Have, start talking to you like you're crazy. Say, I have no idea what you're talking about. What letter? Oh my gosh, there was a letter? What letter are you talking about? What information, something was left to you? If something was left to you, I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about a conspiracy. Is that, oh, really? Okay, don't worry. The court will find out, the lawyers will find out what the truth, truth is. Mm-hmm, didn't I say it's a pentacles? Ace of Pentacles from the Most High. I knew this car was going to come out. I knew this car was going to come out. You are due a Ace of Pentacles, not a page of Pentacles, a Ace of Pentacles. This is the biggest abundance in the deck. This is the biggest. Out of all the Pentacles, this is the biggest. This is as good as it gets. And this is directly from the Most High. And someone, a couple, a family, a group, they're burdened because you're still receiving it. This used to be your energy with these people. This used to be your energy. How are things going to be now? If you worked in this company before, this was you to them. You extended a genuine friendship to these people. You were nice to these people, kind to these people, friendly and everything. And they shut their doors in your face. It said, F you and your kindness. Star C, my neck. Nobody give a crap about no star C. They gave you the middle finger. Everything cursed you out. Spoke ill of you, lied on you, smeared your character, defamed you. Tried to set some of you up, tried to have some of you on the live. Try to have some of you homeless, got, have you caught up in court systems and things like that. And now all of that is coming to an end. You're receiving your Ace of Pentacles. What's about to happen? Who knows? And it's just good that you all are in this energy. So you're not malicious. You're not looking to end anyone. You're not out here trying to be devious and malicious. But your enemies are worried because they know what they tried to do to you. They know the actions they took behind the scenes. And a lot of you know the actions these people took behind the scenes. That's why they're worried. The game is over. There are no more games to play. There are no more tricks. No more blockages. It's over. 
I knew this Ace of Pentacles was going to come out. When I saw this Page of Pentacles, followed by this Queen of Wands, I said, oh, something is up. Something is up. Something is up. Somebody's been up to some triggery. A group of people or a couple has been up to triggery. We've got to figure out what's going on here. Because hardly ever does the Most High just give a page of pentacles to a star seed. It takes so much work to be in that energy of a star seed. You, that's commitment. It takes commitment to be a star seed. So the Most High is not just going to look at you and say, oh yeah, I'll just give you a page of pentacles. He said, nah, we're going all out for you. You're getting the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. What else would you like? Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Let us know what you would like. We have it for you. You can have whatever you like. Yeah, stacks on deck, protrude on ice, baby. They say you can have whatever you can have whatever you like. I just saw this at the bottom. You can have whatever you like. Because being that energy, being a pure energy where you don't have any ill intent in your heart for people, where you actually go out of your way to be kind to people, but you're genuinely being kind to people, it's not easy because you know a lot of the people you're coming across are not kind or pure-hearted like you. They always have ulterior motives. They will sit across from you knowing very well what they're doing to you, but be smiling in your face. Smiling. All 32 teeth are out. All 32 teeth. It, it was just a matter of time. It was just a matter of time. Your enemies are going through sorrows. They're going through sorrows. Someone said they were moving forward, but it looks that they're not moving forward. They're going through endings. They've lost a lot of money, possibly because this was the person paying a lot of people behind the scenes to block this Ace of Pentacles, but you are getting this Ace of Pentacles. Your sorrows are over, but your enemies are just beginning. Their losses are just beginning, some of them. There's a woman in this group that's saying, why did I partner up with these people? Why did I agree to this? We don't know, ma'am. We don't know what to tell you. You're going to have to figure that out. Because if you are someone that is genuinely of high moral character, people cannot come and buy you. No one's going to come and influence you and say, hey, if you do this, you're going to receive this amount of money. You're going to have this position. Things will stay the same. You can work all the hours you want. You can come and go as you please. If you don't feel like doing something, you don't have to do it. That's not how businesses operate. You don't just get to do whatever you want. You don't just get to show up wherever, whenever you want. There are clients to service. There are patients to service. You don't just decide you're going to wake up at 12 May Day to show up to work. Like what? And you just get to change your salary. You know, this year, this month, I'm going to pay myself $50,000. Next month, I'm going to pay myself $80,000. That's not how that works. You don't just go write yourself checks because you feel like writing those checks. There are checks and balances for a reason. Even in the government house, the White House, there are checks and balances. And they are there for a reason. What is that statement in John Wick? The rules are what, what, are what? They are what separates us from the animals. Without the rules, what happens? Exactly, chaos. No structure, nothing. Problems. You don't just get to decide what you want in a business. Just go on doing things by the wing. What? What? You just get to decide, I'm going to write myself an $800 check today. And you're just okay with that. But then you go and tell a cook 
oh, you know, we don't have enough money. We're ro working really hard to increase everybody's wages. It said, why are you trying to pocket change people and you're out here stealing money? <coughs> Excuse me. God forbid anyone should send me any illness. Let me drink my water. Please excuse me. I hardly ever get sick. If I tell you that I'm sick, that means there's something mental going on with me. I'm mentally stressed. But as far as me being sick, mm -mm, I don't claim that. No, thank you. And the last couple of years has been stressful for me. So sometimes I've had to just tell my boss, hey, I'm going to work from home today. I won't be able to do orientation because, sir, my mental is not there. But what I usually tell him, I'm not feeling well. Because mental health is important as well. Okay. Star C, your victory is in short. Honey, your pathway is clear. I just saw the sun for you. Okay. Just know that this person that has made it their personal mission to block your forward movement, they're going through an ending. Oh, this is what's coming up. I like to speak my readings in the now because technically in creation, there's no past, there's no future. Everything is now. So this person is going through an ending. It's not will, they are. It has already happened. In the spirit realm, it has already happened. In the physical, it's happening. So it's already here. And this person has no one to blame but themselves. Everything you're about to lose is because of actions you took against an innocent person. You're going to want this person to feel sorry for you. I'm sure they'll feel sorry for you, but that's about as far as it's going to go. Because if you didn't lose everything, that person would have been losing everything. You made it your mission to make sure that person lose everything. Some of these people, their wives are stalking you. You go to a store, they pop up there. You say, who the heck is this woman? Why are you following me around? And then you find out, oh, it's his wife. Why is your wife stalking people? Why are your family members stalking people? Why are you paying people behind the scenes to interfere with people's livelihoods? Why? That's mental illness. That says you have a mental imbalance. You didn't see anything wrong with this? Someone in here is into some type of occult practices. And they think if they keep tempering with people, messing with their comfort, their, their safety, trying to get you to feel uncomfortable and things like that, you're going to break down. You're going to lose your mind. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. That sounds like you had some, something mental going on. Can you, can you imagine taking time out of your day to to go let since I do social media, imagine taking time out of your day, star seas, light workers, people with common sense, to go and post under somebody's video something real stupid, like really immature, that has nothing to do with the content that they're they're posting. And you don't feel stupid about it. <clears throat> you're going through an ending, sir. Some of you are going through endings you cannot block, you cannot stop. Okay? <clears throat> because this person is still going to be receiving what's theirs. You say, no, no, I'm going to lose everything if she comes. If he comes, I'm going to lose everything. I say, well, yeah. It's either you or all of us, and we don't want to go down with you. So, uh, I guess you're the sacrificial lamb. It's either you go or all of us. No, we're going to do the right thing. Say, no, my family's going to be out in the street. Well, yeah, 
you kind of knew there was a possibility when you stole from someone. Your home life was not secure, but you were too focused on destroying another person's life. And you were warned ahead of time not to take the actions that you took. But you had too much ego. Your ego was bruised. You made it your personal mission to destroy someone else. So the Most High said, okay, just so you know, balance will be burnt into this situation. So we're going to let you go as far as you want to into this skin. We're going to let you keep digging that grave for yourself. Let's see how far you can dig. And you kept going. When you passed six feet, the Most High said, oh, he's still going. They're still going. You went to 10 feet. Oh, my Lord, look at him go. You went to 20 feet, 30, 50, 100 feet. You said, oh, great. Now when we drop this star seed in here, they have no way of coming out. And the Most High looked at you and said, what star seed? My star seed is not even around here. You can't touch them. You can look at them from a distance. You can fool, try to fool with them from a distance, but you can't touch them. And then the Most High pokes you because you're standing right on top of that, that grave. The Most High poked you and down you go. It's a, and listen, listen, it's, this is not going well. This is not going well. Someone in this group, this is a feminine energy. She has so much ego. This is one of those people, you know, when she's, you know, sneaking you, lying on you, lying in your face. She's proud about it. That That's one of the people that walk around with their chest loudest in the room. They're proud about it. Yep, I sure did. Mm-hmm. And you're just sitting back and watching them and say, you know, I'm so glad I got to meet you before all of this is settled. I will be back. I hope you have that same energy when I come back. But you didn't say anything to them. You just watched them go day in and day out, causing problems, telling lies, interfering with uh, connections and stuff. And you just sat back and watched her do it. And you said, okay, dear. I'm going to take myself out of this situation, but I will be back. And I hope you have that same energy that you have now. You see how all 32 of your teeth are out? I'm going to need them to be out when I return. Okay? You don't martyr yourself. Not realizing it. Because you thought you were on top of the world. It's a tower. I'm telling you. It's a tower. It's an ending. Someone is losing everything. And they thought if they stay calm, pretend like everything was okay, they didn't show any fear, any reaction, nothing, everything will be okay. It will just all pass over. You know, they will get to keep this Ace of Pentacles or it will be given to them. They said, oh, no. No, 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 no. This is deeper than you all realize. This is past life inheritance. This is deeper than you realize. We're going to need you all to get into spirituality and start learning who you are and understand why some people receive these types of offers. You don't understand it. You see them one day and you say, oh, they're nobody. The next day they have something like this and you're like, what? What? Who are you? You don't deserve that. And the most I said, uh, excuse me, who are you? I didn't give you any authority to decide who deserves what and who doesn't deserve what. Some of you, you pretend to be religious, but you're so out of touch with God, you don't understand how these kind of things happen. You don't understand because you don't have a connection with source. You just pretend to, to, to have a connection with source. That's why none of this makes sense. You said, we've been around, around this business owner for 30 years. We've been around this business owner for 50 years. Why didn't he leave us the inheritance? Why didn't she leave us the inheritance? Why doesn't he want to partner up with us? Why, 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 why? You need to look in the mirror and be honest with yourself. Why these people didn't choose you? You need to look in the mirror and be honest with yourself. Look at all of the things you've done. How much money did you steal? What all did you partake in? 
okay? What happened during your time at these companies or in these relationships with these people, these men and women? What happened? What had happened? Okay? Collective, you are, I'm telling you, you're putting an end to one chapter and stepping into a new one. Putting an end to sorrows, to loss, everything that is just not where you're supposed to be. People have been keeping you in an energy that you're not meant to be in. You've never meant to be in. This is like you are meant to be someone of privilege and a high honor. But people have been working overtime to keep you in poverty so they can keep living off of your back. Living the good life at your detriment. You're struggling to make ends meet, but they're living large. Eating tea boom sticks, taking vacations, riding boats, possibly living in your house, sleeping in your beds, driving your cars, swiping your credit cards, your debit cards, just living at large at your expense. And they never thought the day would come where they would have to return it to who it belongs to. Some of these people are in debt for companies. And they don't realize it because they stole money from these companies. They're in debt. They said, oh, you did what now? Yeah, we're going to need all of that back. And if you cannot give it back to us, we're pressing charges. This is what some of these people are in. Not all of them, but some of them. They're being exposed. Someone literally went into their bank account. They thought they were investing into the future. By paying to have you blocked, they went into their savings accounts. They started off with their checking account. The checking account became depleted, so they turned to their savings account. That too is possibly depleted. They've been using credit cards, swiping to cash at people money. Say, hey, here's $50,000. Make sure she doesn't come to this location. Make sure that she doesn't receive this phone call. Blocking your phone calls, your text messages, emails, interfering with your mail, which is illegal. What is wrong with you people? Why is your mental so shaky, shaky? Who knew, like, maybe if you will have done the right thing, this person, these people will have partnered up with you all. Say, hey... Yeah, this is a big burden, not a burden. This is a big responsibility that I more than likely cannot fulfill by myself. So I would like all of us to team up together and work together. But you all are not built that way. You're built to be selfish and greedy. You're the kids on the playground that don't know how to play well with other kids. You come in, you see a child playing with a ball or a jumping rope. Instead of saying, hey, I want to play with you, what do you do? You go and take the jump rope from them or the ball from them. Now it's a fight breaking out. You thought they were just going to give you their ball and roll over and just uh, go away or something. They said, nah, I'm keeping my ball. And you say, well, I want the ball. Well, the ball is not yours or you weren't here first. So you're going to have to figure that out. The ball is not yours. Someone has depleted their finances trying to take you down. Now they're going to, I'm telling you, someone has depleted their finances trying to destroy another person. And now they have fallen from grace. They, they're not able to recover. You're moving on to calmer waters. You're going to be receiving what's yours. They were trying to block your finances, but it's been released. They were trying to block your blessings. Hold on to it. It's been released. Your blessings are released. Your pathway is clear. The truth is illuminated. This is like a shocking experience for this person and these people. There are people in here that they didn't know what was going on. And with the truth being a review, it's just that, oh my gosh, this is like the drama of the year. This is scamming on a whole different level. You all better pray this is not on the news for some of you karmics. Whether it's in, maybe in Hollywood, this will probably end up on the news. But this is, I'm telling you, victory. This is newsworthy material. They said, oh, he was into that. We thought he was nice. We thought he was kind. 
we thought he actually cared about what he was doing. This is what he's been up to behind the scenes? <laughs> There is someone being hunted by an angel, a guardian angel or an ancestor. Either they're seeing this angel or this guardian angel everywhere they go, or the angel or, or, or ancestor is showing them the same message or the same name over and over. So let's say for a second, my name is Cynthia. They're gonna keep showing Cynthia to this person and say, hey, Cynthia. They go to the bathroom, Cynthia. They go to bed, Cynthia. They go to eat dinner, Cynthia. They're being hunted because your ancestors know this person is supposed to do something they're not doing. And your ancestors are going to keep causing mayhem in these people's lives until they fixed what they broke, until they return what they stole, until they release what they've been holding on to. Release it. Someone is being, I'm didn't I just say something about an angel? There is most definitely someone that's being hunted. I, would, I don't want to say, you know, angels are not, not all angels are bad. Angels are good. Okay. There are high benevolent uh, 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 beings, angelic beings. But this one, this one right here, for someone specific, they don't play about the person they're watching over. And they're going to keep taunting someone, either this feminine energy or this person, this masculine energy. Everywhere they go, they're going to hear that name. Cynthia, 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 you stole from Cynthia, return to her what belongs to her. Whatever your name is, collective. Some of these people, they know what belongs to you and they have you working some job that they know is not going anywhere. I'm telling you, honey. <laughs> Your pathway is clear, honey. Everybody knows what's going on, not just you, Queen of Cups. Your enemies know that you know, you know they know, everybody knows. So now what's going to happen? That is the question the world needs to know. What's going to happen? They said, what do we do? You return to them what's theirs. Return to them what's theirs. Return it. Give it back. This is judgment. Return to this person what belongs to them. Stop holding on to it. You're not causing any type of uh, 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 discouragement because you hold on to it for however long. This It still belongs to them. They're not going to forget about it. They're not going to say, oh, you know, I have this job that pays $28 an hour now. So I'm just going to forget about the Ace of Pentacles. You guys can keep it. No. These star seeds want what belongs to them. Are you mad? It's madness. What is this person going to work for $28 an hour forever? No. That's cool and all, but um, I mean, someone from your past now wants to come and reunite with you have closure with you you're keeping your distance you're like uh -uh, i'm good you were part of this mess that's what i just heard this could have been a king of cups they were part of this they want they're putting an end to some type of chapter they want to come in now and start a new chapter with you because they know that you have this ace of pentacles coming to you or you have your name attached to it they're disappointed because you're not doing it you're not getting back with this person. They've lost it. And they're sitting back and looking like, oh my gosh, if I would have just supported them, if I would have just uh, stuck beside them, I would be part of their life. I've missed out on my abundance. Yes, you did. 
someone chose a different character over you and they're finding out that person was just an illusion. All the world was tempting. They look good and that was it. Nothing going on upstairs, but a whole lot going on downstairs with him and everybody else. But you are being kept away from this person. You're being protected from this person. They could be living in fear as well because they know what's about to go down. You said, oh, so you knew about this the whole time. You ripped up my letter. Did you shred my letter? Did you burn my letter? You did something. Because there was some type of information that you have came out to some of you. And people from your past did something with them. Or information was given to them by this sneaky character. And instead of them being loyal to you, they sided with this person out of jealousy. Some of you were with partners that were in competition with you and you didn't even know it. You were sleeping with an enemy. I would know. I've had one before. And they're going through an ending. Excuse me. Going through an ending. They're like, can we talk? Is it, uh, what do we have to talk about? I'm not much of a talker these days. That's what you need to be telling them. Yeah, I'm telling you. This chapter with you and them are over. There's a, <laughs> there's a queen of pentacles that's living in fear. This woman has been showing up in literally every read I've been doing. This sister is in fear because she knows it's done. Sister has been doing a whole lot behind the scenes. Go do this, do that. Give this person money so they don't, so they can keep her over there. Go run her off, go scare her. Break into her house, break into her apartment. Uh, are you having people commit legal crimes? Like having people commit second degree blurbery? Like you have people committing robbery so you can hold on to a position that you will not be able to keep it's over, dear. It's over. It is over for you. Mm -mm -mm. You have legal issues coming in, dear. Legal issues. Because you know what's about to happen? Some of the people you partner up with are about to be experiencing losses. And they're going to blame you for it. So they're about to turn on you. And you're going to have to answer all of their questions. Not that they should really be blaming you because they agreed to partner up with you. But they're about to be angry with you. You're living in fear and anxiety because you know what's coming. It's inevitable. I'm telling you, you know what's coming. You know what's coming. I'm telling you, you know what's coming. You're not going to be fooling this person, nothing. They're going to get what's the hairs. You pretend to be a queen of pentacles, you're not. You don't have any of the characteristics of a queen of pentacles. You've been pretending to be the person that this blessing belongs to. <coughs> You've been trying to cause them fear, have them living in a... a, a hesitation just a lot of craziness and they're still moving forward they still have their brand new passionate beginning in life this opportunity is still going to be given to them okay so that's short changing short change you're trying to give them or have presented to them you may want to hold on to that you're going to need that for some legal proceedings you're going to need that money because you have problems coming in. Yeah, honey, you're not getting what belongs to someone else at all. This is one of those people when you work in the company, I'm telling you, dude, you're not getting what belongs to this person at all. It's an ending for you. You're going through an ending. You won't be recovering. This is one of those people when you work in a company for them, they pretend to be your best friend the whole time. They're stealing from you. Oh, you know, she's we're friends. That's my buddy. And you're looking at them like, right. Sure. 
Is that what they call it today, buddy? Mm. Okay. Okay. Someone has been pretending to be something they're not for a long time, pretending to be educated, pretending to know it all. And it's like, oh, yeah, Melissa, Linda, Karen, we know this is not you. What is going on? The truth is exposed. We already know what's going on. What are you doing? <coughs> I'm going to make some tea. Telling you, Lord have mercy. All of these cards are beautiful. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. These cards are beautiful. Or do we even need to? Lord, you all see the cards. It don't matter what order I put them in. So, your pathway is clear. You have victory. Your enemy is going through an ending while you're going through victory, okay? You have charge. Some of you are these people's bosses. You're attached to an institution, a business empire that people have been trying to hide from you, okay? They were supposed to help you, help mold you into a leader, but most of them are not leaders. So how are they going to mold you into what they don't know? This is why some of these people didn't help out. They went south. Source, what is your advice for us? What would you like us to be aware of? Nineteen ten completion. Yeah, this karmic cycle is over. Things are being balanced out. It says independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life you desire. I am a pioneer. Thank you. And this is why a lot of you are receiving the blessings and opportunities that you are because of their mindset. You bring change. You're innovative, creative. Your mind is like a machine, always having brand new ideas and things like that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. Goodbye for now.